Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Luciano and I am reactivating this channel uh, I already have another channel uh, my main channel is mostly uh, Portuguese based so most of my viewers are from Brazil and mixing the content uh, Brazilian Portuguese and English isn't working very well so I will start to put the English content in this channel well, and this video is a response kind of collaboration to help uh, improving uh, the practice of HEMA uh, based on one video that I watched uh, from uh, Federico Malaguti uh, who is uh, another YouTuber uh, focused on HEMA and Federico, your work is very good I would like to say that I um, take inspiration on your work to continue with the work in my channel okay so uh, Federico talked about uh, drawing a long sword drawing a European uh, sword so uh, there are some points that I want to add to the discussion and to also give some hints to improve uh, the practice of drawing a sword for anyone that uh, is willing to practice HEMA and study this kind of technique. Uh, so first, I practice uh, Japanese martial arts I, and I practice Bushin Kambu Jutsu since 2006 and uh, I have a, a little experience with the Japanese sword. Swords are basically uh, sharpened uh, steel bars. There isn't uh, much difference between uh, a sword from Japan and a sword on, in Europe in terms of physics and mechanics. Many things that are applied to the Japanese sword also uh, are applied to the European sword. Basically, the, there are many stances that are common uh, both in Japanese and also in Hima martial arts. Uh, you know, martial arts is strange. Okay, European martial arts. First, let's start with uh, one suggestion of Federico of drawing the, the long sword, uh, where he shows uh, he stepping back and drawing the sword like this, uh, taking care to don't destroy my TV, and presenting the point of the sword. So here you can stab uh, with the sword. I, I'm not saying that it is impractical that you can't find a way to make it work. So there are some techniques uh, in the Japanese martial arts that I practice that deals with a condition where you can have access to the scabbard of the sword and also the left arm of your opponent. So if your opponent can uh, close in while you are trying to make your, your draw here and he grabs the discovered uh, of your sword and also grabs your left arm he can apply uh, uh, arm lock here and uh, prevent you from uh, drawing your sword effectively and keep uh, your technique work working I would only uh, use this kind of technique of drawing the, the long sword if I was uh, taking a long step back uh, getting distance from my, my enemy so he can't chase me uh, and grab the, the scabbard of the sword to control it and make it a counter technique. Uh, the second point that I uh, wish to discuss that will improve the, the practice for you how you draw the, the sword. So first we must take in consideration what kind of scabbard and how you carry the sword. The Japanese sword is uh, very loose in your belt. Just to make an example, here I have the sword in my, my belt and I can move it quite uh, freely uh, in my belt and this is what makes the katana a very fast sword in draw. Most people uh, talk about the katana and say it, it draws very fast because uh, the, it's a curved blade and this helps uh, with drawing the sword fast but it, this is not the case uh, so for example here I can turn this, the sword against uh, with the curve against the, the drawing uh, movement so I, I 
if I hold the, the thread like this, uh, this would delay the, the, the drawing of the katana. And, well, this is not the case. Uh, it's still very fast. What makes the drawing of the katana fast is uh, the combined motion of the right hand in the handle of the sword and the left hand in the scabbard making this movement, separating uh, the scabbard from the sword. This is called sciatic. Uh, drawing a long sword when the scabbard is uh, very tightly uh, att attached to, to your belt you can't have uh, this combined motion so you, you can't bring the sword um, as far um, as a katana to your right hand to improve the, the speed of the, the drawing uh, so you must reach the sword and take it from, from the scabbard uh, mostly only using uh, your right hand this problem will not occur if you carry your sword and your scabbard in your hand so we see it in Fiore de, de Liberi Flos Velatorum so here you have um, much more freedom of movement you are holding the sword uh, and the scabbard with the left hand and you can separate the discovered from the sword just like we do with the katana. Demonstrate this with the katana. So if you're holding the sword like this, you can actually jab the, the, the scabbard into your opponent's face and you have the sword ready to engage. The last advice that I give to you if you want to practice drawing the, the sword from the, the scabbard uh, is to make everything in a single movement. I understand why uh, you must break, uh, some, sometimes you must break uh, the lessons into steps to make uh, things easier to understand and comprehend. So uh, he basically steps forward, grab the sword, and make uh, the draw. Uh, these are separate movements. Uh, after you understand, you should do uh, those movements as one movement uh, together. Uh, imagine, for example, if I am holding the sword in Posto di Dona, okay, and I step forward and then I, I make the cut. Uh, this will not work. This will not work because my enemy is not stupid and as I close in, I get the, the distance to, to hit my opponent and he notes that he's in danger, he may attack me uh, before I start my movement or he may just go uh, back and get out of reach for my attack. Uh, so uh, it will not be a good option to advance first then uh, making your cut. And this also applies to drawing the sword, uh, you should not advance and then draw the sword. No. Um, the best would be if you draw the sword while you advance. This would be uh, very, much more faster, uh, more effective, and this is how we do with the, the katana. Make the two movements in uh, a single tempo, in a single movement. Well, uh, that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and if you are not a subscriber for my channel, please subscribe. I hope you liked this video, and I see you later.